So not only look at this, four million Bitcoin. Okay. We can I can do four million Bitcoin. Bitcoin's current <laughs> Bitcoin's current price is about sixty sixty three thousand dollars. He has four million of those. That's insane. Two hundred million dollars. And the kicker is this is a screenshot of him. He screenshotted how he was stealing the money in a discord. Dweeb. One user on X uncovering the moment Lamb allegedly landed more than $230 million in stolen Bitcoin from a victim in D.C. Federal investigators say Lamb and at least one other suspect then used the illegally obtained cryptocurrency to purchase international travel, service at nightclubs, numerous luxury automobiles, watches, jewelry, designer handbags, and to pay for rental homes in L.A. and Miami. <laughs> Accused of flaunting it all at parties like this one, luxury cars and designer bags like these. And don't forget the watches and jewelry like those pictured here. It all came, though, to a screeching halt. Wednesday night, FBI agents busting into a home neighbors say is a rental property. I heard what I thought was fireworks. Smoke pouring out as they raided during the day and investigated through the night. 7 News, the only station there capturing the feds combing through every inch of the mansion at 1201 Northeast 83rd Street. They don't want to think bad of their neighborhood, you know? For neighbors. Yo, you know he rich as fuck, Liz, dude. He won't even show his face. He won't even show his face. You know he getting money. You know he getting money. Left wondering what went down. They now have an answer. And so Lamb facing several federal charges. You're going to jail now. Nah, but he's going to jail. It's over with. Um, unfortunate, man. Dweeb behavior. Dweeb behavior. That's what happens. I don't feel no sympathy. So, you know, I'm going to tell you why I don't feel no sympathy. And I've been I've been vocal about this. And I, I'll show you all as well. Actually, I'm going to be very transparent with you all. Let me see if I can get my uh, thing while I'm doing it. Um, let me stop sharing real quick. So... I think maybe two years ago. What the fuck is going on? Hold on, y'all. I want to say two years ago, I had a crypto portfolio that I built up of about $60,000. I was working at the post office like two and a half years ago. I was working at the post office, stacking all my dough. I was buying Bitcoin, Ethereum. I actually got really lucky and bought um, 3-6. Hold on. Let me get my code in. I got really lucky. I bought some Dogecoin. And from the Dogecoin, um, it, I, I got like 5000 I changed to that 5000 I think I bought two Ethereum and Ethereum went up. And then I ended up building a portfolio of about 60000 I took that and I put it into a liquidity pool. And so for those of you who don't know, a liquidity pool is like they basically take your crypto and they trade and they give you dividends. Right. So they give you dividends off of that. Um, they give you dividends off of that. And I was making, I was probably touching like 1200 a week, anywhere from 1200 to 2000 a week off of this, off of this crypto thing. Right. So I put 60,000 in and I was getting paid weekly. I was getting paid weekly off of all my coins. And then one day, one day the payment stopped and they took my break. And so I was hurt, bro. I was hurt. This was the first time. Like, I never seen that much money at once. All right. Bro, I was working my ass off. I was at the post office, like working 12 hours a day. If you ever worked at the post office, you already know. But I was taking that money, putting it into this crypto. Thought I was damn near rich. I'm making, I'm working at the post office and making 1200 a day. I not a day a week. And I had rental cars at the time. So I was bringing in, I was probably bringing in like 15K a month or some shit like that. Passive. I'm talking about passive. Besides for the post office, obviously. Um, and so that that happened to me. I hadn't been working on crypto at all. I was like, fuck. Now, I wasn't like, fuck crypto, but I had to just bounce back. And so I am just now getting back into crypto. I'm going to show you all my portfolio right now. It's very small, but I, I, I told people I'm going to take you all on my journey. Um, and so I just started like a couple of days ago. 179. The, I'm going to turn this into 60,000 by next summer. I'm going to raise this up. I got 
weekly buys right now, $10 for XRP, $10 for Bitcoin, Ethereum. I think what I'm planning to do is I'm going to buy 100 weekly in XRP. I think I'm going to do 100 weekly in Bitcoin. And I think I'm going to do $50 in Ethereum. I'm just, I'm transferring some money. I'm making, I'm letting everything load. So we're going to grow it. We're going to grow it. I'm on Gemini. I was on Coinbase, but I'm on Gemini now. So we'll see. I'm heavy on XRP. I like XRP a lot. I don't even know if y'all know about none of this stuff, but we locked in with this crypto stuff. Um, But yeah, man, that's that. Again, this is the check-in, man. Every morning, I don't know what time y'all think I should do it. Maybe I'll switch it over to 7.30 or 6.30 at least. I can't do a... I can't do seven every morning because it's already eight o'clock. I can't do that every morning. Not not right now because I got places to be. 